This is such an important day here for the station, for our city, for everyone to fill a bag and fill a bus. And we're here with Mark and Mary Francis. Mark, we're going to talk about the Greater Chicago Food Depository. The need really is great this time of year and really all year long. It's true. I mean, we, we say at the depository that, you know, unfortunately, hunger doesn't know a season. But, you know, events like today and in the holiday season, you know, people are always in the giving spirit. So, you know, we really love events like this where we get to partner with, you know, WCIU, Jewel Oscar. Go, a whole bunch of other companies that love to support our mission because, you know, the the sad thing is is that in Cook County, one in six people are food insecure and rely on our services to, you know, get their next meal. You know, they're making a decision between, you know, are they going to pay a bill or are they going to put food on the table? And, you know, the great thing about the Greater Chicago Food Depository is that, you know, we make those decisions easier for a lot of people in, you know, conjunction with the uh, 700 partners that we work with uh, throughout Cook County. And one of those big partners, obviously, is Jewel Osco. Mary Francis, we talk every year. We do this a couple times a year. It's important, but you guys are love being involved in this project. Of course we do. Jewel Osco is the largest donor to the Greater Chicago Food Depository. So more than 10 million pounds of food that we gave last year and we'll give this year as well, too. So we love the partnership, and that's why we get so excited about it. Yeah. You uh, mentioned, Mark, hunger knows, you know, uh, no, it, it knows no season. It also knows no neighborhood. I mean, these are our neighbors in the suburbs. You may not know. It's people that you know that, that might be struggling to find that next meal. Yeah. Well, I mean, that that is the, you know, I guess I wouldn't call it interesting. But, but the shocking, the, sad the shocking yeah. thing is that, I mean, you don't really know who is, you know, somebody that does not know where their next meal is coming from, which is why events like this are so important, you know, especially around the holiday season, you know, people are really thinking about giving and uh, it's been inspiring watching the way that this city and Cook County in general come together to support those that are in need. I I've seen some amazing things over the last two months of, yeah. you know, outpourings of donations and support, uh, you know, from large companies, right. small, you know, small schools, it, it's, it, it's, it's really it's incredible. inspiring. It is yeah. inspiring. All right, so you can come out here today where you are at, uh, just south of Roosevelt, on Canal, and we're going to be later on, we're going to Homewood, we're going to River Forest as well from noon to four, so come on out to the Jewel Osco. It's really simple. We'll go over all the details, a little bit about how to fill the bag and fill a bus for a really great cause. It's a perfect day to come out and fill a bag, fill a bus, right? Yeah, nice Vanna White there, Skates. You can donate to fill a bag and fill a bus. More details on that in just a little bit, but Skates, how about you help me out with the weather here today? Sound good? All right, well, we're a little bit chilly to start today. We are warmer than yesterday, but it's still cold. 35, 36 degrees this morning. Little wind, too. We got wind coming out of the south. That's going to keep things a little bit cooler in the morning, but it will help in the afternoon because guess what? A mix of sun and clouds this afternoon at temperatures of 47 degrees in the middle of December. 47 degrees. You're going to have to lose some of these layers, Skates. It's going to be warm out there. Okay, so we keep the sun and clouds, but tomorrow there might be rain. Rain showers coming down. We're still going to be above average. Right around, yeah, you got your umbrella? That's a good idea. 40 44 degrees will be the high temperature for tomorrow, and we continue to cool down for Friday into the 30s. Oh no, now it's starting to feel like Christmas around the area. This weekend should be pretty clear. Slight chance of snow flurries Christmas Eve and Christmas Day. Could be a white Christmas. Doesn't look like it's going to be much, but it could be. It is a great morning here, and uh, Mark, we've now come inside, yes. and we're going to get some uh, items for uh, people to donate. It's really simple. When you go to the location here today in the South Loop on uh, Canal just south of Roosevelt, you get one of these bags, and you fill it up, and then you bring it out to the bus. That's it. Simple, right? It is that easy, and you've picked a great aisle for us <laughs> to uh, to wander down because I am seeing all of my favorite donation items in this uh, in this aisle well, here. On my left, I've got canned tomatoes, and canned is the key. Nothing with glass, right? Yeah, we don't want glass because glass can break and broken glass causes problems. Yeah. So uh, we definitely, uh, you know, you want to uh, focus on shelf stable, okay. healthy uh, options. I got some, so how about whole peeled tomatoes? Uh, yeah, we can take some whole well, peeled tomatoes. That. What do you like on the right side? What do you like over there? Um, ooh, chicken and wild rice, ooh. progresso soup. That's always a good choice. Sounds really nice on a chilly day. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. I mean, you know, it's not too bad today, but uh, Hey, let me do the weather reports, Mark, oh, okay? 
I'm yeah, sorry. It's gonna be 48 degrees. Okay, never mind. Enough of that. All right. So we got some beans over here. Beans are good too, right? We love beans. Beans in all varieties. Uh, absolutely. Toss them in the bag. All right. I, I've noticed that sometimes that people prefer things that aren't in syrup, maybe more in juice. If you're doing some fruit or if you're doing beans low sodium, maybe just be a little more health conscious too when you're picking out things. Yeah, like, well, our, like you would be for your family. Yeah. Our focus is, you know, we want to provide, you know, shelf stable, healthy options for the uh, for the people that take benefit of our services. All right. We've been in aisle 13, but skates from the Chicago Wolves is supposed to be around here somewhere. I sent him, oh, here he is, Skates. All right, what do you got for us? Skates has got peanut butter. How about peanut butter? We love peanut butter. It goes great on toast. Oh, it does go great on toast, amongst other things. Sometimes I just get a big old spoon and eat a bunch of peanut butter. That is a choice you can make. <laughs> right, and it is a choice I have made. And we also have some sliced pears, so that's in 100% juice. Looks good, right? Yeah, absolutely, absolutely. Toss it in the bag, Skates. All right, so Skates is here. Those are some of the items you can do. We're going to talk more about where this all goes. But most importantly, South Loop at Canal, just south of Roosevelt. We're here till 11. Then we're going to River Forest. We're going to Homewood, 12 to 4. Fill a bag, fill a bus. It's that simple. All right, back here, fill a bag, fill a bus. Get a knock on the bus. That was the outside temperature. Charlie, how warm is it in there? It's 75. I should come on in there, right? You should. Chicago Trolley Double Decker co uh, Company, you guys have done a great job partnering with us. Why do you guys love to participate? Well, it's, it's doing good for everybody in the city of Chicago. But I've got this big old beautiful trolley here, and I want to fill it up with non-perishable foods because then I'm going to drive it over to the Greater Chicago Food Depository, and that's the real real charm for me and real goal for me is to fill it up and take it over there for everybody. Absolutely, Charlie. We appreciate your support. We're going to fill that bag. We're going to fill that bus. Fill a bag, fill the bus. It's that easy. People making donations here at the counter. We got House of Blues tickets. We got some jam swag, the youth swag. It's a great day here. And of course, Mark, we got to talk about what this is all for, the Greater Chicago Food Depository. Absolutely. And look, every dollar goes a long way, doesn't it? Yeah, it really does. I mean, the great thing about the food depository is because of our immense bulk buying power, you know, collecting canned goods like we, what we're doing here, non-perishable items, is really awesome. But a great way to make an impact, especially if you're at home watching this, is to make a monetary donation. Uh, with our buying power, we can turn every dollar that we receive as a donation into the equivalent of three healthy meals. Wow. Yeah. And, and you're talking about buying some produce, too. We think of all the cans and stuff. 37% of the stuff that you guys are buying and giving out is is, is fresh produce, right? Yeah, we, uh, we distribute about 26 million pounds of fresh produce every year out of our warehouse well, so if every dollar is three meals i've got a really exciting moment for you okay okay all right because i got the beam legal team here how are we doing beam legal team all right so we're gonna have a check presentation in just a little bit but to tease it ahead to it matt from the beam legal team why do you guys love to participate in this well, we at beam legal team are a chicago law firm who represents children and the Greater Chicago Food Depository is a great local community organization that's also helping Chicago's children. So we're proud to team with them at this holiday time when so many people are in need and do what we can to contribute. All right, if every dollar goes to three meals, uh, we're really excited about the big check presentation we have in a little bit. Beam legal team, the beam team, make some noise. All right, guys, we'll have that check presentation in just a little bit. Remember, we're a fill a bag, fill a bus. We are right now on Canal, just south of Roosevelt. Great view of the city behind us. And it's a nice, perfect day to come donate. And if you can't come in the morning, we're here till 11, 12 to 4 in Homewood and River Forest as well. So coming out, fill, hey, on the count of three, let's do fill a bag, fill a bus. One, two, three. Fill a bag, fill a bus. We'll practice it. We're having fun skates. Go ahead and push me along here at the Jewel Osco. Having a great start to the morning, a fill a bag, fill a bus, and on a little ride here. Perfect day for a little ride in a shopping cart. As you can see, the city looks great. A great view of the South Loop from the South Loop of our downtown area. Skates are having a good time here. We're always having good. Fill a bag, fill a bus. Donate right here today. More details in a bit. It's been an incredible day here at the Jewel Osco on Canal, uh, just south of Roosevelt. We've had a lot of donations coming in in the forms of those bags. We're filling the bag. We're filling the bus. It all goes a long way, Mark, but let's remind everyone that they can make donations online if they're not able to come to one of the jewels today, and every dollar goes a long way, doesn't it? It's true. For every dollar that we take in, we can buy the equivalent of three healthy meals. That's incredible. So let's say, let's do some math here. So one dollar is, math. I know, I, I'll do it for you, because I already worked it out of my head beforehand. One dollar equals three meals. So how many meals does five thousand dollars equal? Be legal, team. Make some noise. I believe that's 15,000 meals. I believe, I hope you're correct. 
correct? I hope I am correct. All right, uh, Matt from Beam Legal Team, remind everyone again why you guys partner with us and, and make this big donation today. We're a Chicago law firm who helps represent the children of Chicago, and this is such a great organization that contributes to feeding our community for something people really need, and that's food, and we're really important, and this is really important to do. Absolutely. All right, we've got a lot of lawyers here, so none of this is official until we've done the official check presentation, so I'm going to come behind it. I know this is it, so let's do the official language here. All right, go ahead. On behalf of Beam Legal Team, we'd like to give this $5,000 check to the Greater Chicago Food Depository for the third year in a row. That's absolutely incredible. Now, I'm the middleman here. I'm not even going to take any of my cut. Right over to the Greater Chicago Food Depository. Mark, what does this mean to you guys here today? Well, I mean, the previously established 15,000 meals. My is, math is checked out. You kept, you checked, all right? Yes, yes. We checked it on, with our own sources. Right. Um, but, I mean, it, it's just tremendous to have the support, you know, the continued support of the Beam Legal Team. And... Uh, uh, we're going to do a lot of good with this. So yeah. It's incredible. The need is great this holiday season. One out of every six folks that might be watching this in the Chicago metropolitan area don't know where their next meal is coming from. That's absurd. In a country and a city of wealth and opportunity that we have, we need to make sure that everyone knows where their next meal is coming from. And the folks at the Greater Chicago Food Depository make sure that those 800,000 people in our area know where their next meal is. And this is going a long way. Guys, it's really been a magical day. It continues here till 11 a.m. Come on down to the South Loop to make your donation. But if you can, if you're out in the suburbs, guess what? Starting at noon, noon to four, we're going to be in River Forest. We're going to be in Homewood. And you can make donations online, too. It's fill a bag, fill a bus, a special day. It has been a great morning. It's been a great morning, right? Yeah. So I got the Beam Legal Team here. They donated $5,000. Goes a long way. Mark, what an inspiring day, huh? It's really amazing. People are filling the bus. People are giving me giant checks. <laughs> it's incredible. I love this the show of support that we're seeing from the Chicago community this morning and hopefully it'll continue on into the afternoon at uh, the Homewood and River Forest locations. Absolutely. We're out here till 11, then again, noon to 4, those other locations, and also you can donate online. Mary Frances, thank you so much for having us here at Jewel, but I imagine for you guys, you're thanking everyone else. Absolutely. We love this. We're the largest donor to the Greater Chicago Food Depository, so we really appreciate the partnership with the Greater Chicago Food Depository and love doing this with WCIU, the GM. So it's really simple again, guys. It's fill it back, fill it bus. I like any promotion or thing that has the name, the title of the name tells you exactly what you have to do. You come to the Jewel Osco here in the South Loop till 11 a.m. As you walk in, someone's going to give you a bag. You're going to fill that bag with those non-perishable items. You bring it outside, and we're going to bring it on the bus. And we got to thank, of course, Jewel Osco. We got to thank Chicago Trolley and Double Decker Company. We got to thank the Beam Law All Office. We got to thank Skates here. He's been here with the Chicago Wolves. And, of course, we want to say thank you and good luck to the Greater Chicago Food Depository, all right? Thank you very much for all your support. We're making the holiday season great for a lot of people. Let's make some noise one more time and back to you guys.